On today's video, I'm going to cover five portfolios and give you the one tip that can make the biggest difference in that portfolio. Let's rock and roll. Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Ron Sega. Welcome back to our show. And recently, you guys have been sending me so many portfolios over Instagram, I decided I'm gonna have to try to review as many of them as possible. And since you've seemed to like the short five minute videos, let's just dive into it. I'm gonna kick off the timer here and let's dive right into it. First portfolio website of Tiffany Lam. She's a software developer based in Vancouver. The thing about this website right now though is I can't scroll or see what else is here. Now if I turn my head here, I can see that there is about and there is works and apparently she did a lot of stuff, but here also I can scroll. And if I wanna see more work, I have to click more. So I think my first tip to Tiffany here is let me scroll, let me see who you are and explore your website without having to think about what I want to click next. It requires too much information, I just wanna explore, just see who you are. The other thing I would say is there is a lot of buttons here. Again, I'm not really sure what should I click on next because there is no real hierarchy here. But I think the best service you can do right now to take this to the next level is just allow me to scroll, see the work, see the about section when I'm scrolling. All right, next website. So this is the next website of, I don't know the name, right? Hi, I am a logo designer, vector artist, and web designer. There's kind of an illustration, not really a photo, and it says create, but I don't know whose website is this. So if I scroll down, scroll down, okay, I get here to I'm Muhammad Saeed. All right, Muhammad, best tip, say who you are. Let me know what's your name, whose website am I on? Is this you, so who are you? Uh, let me know if you're a freelancer, I'm about to hire you. Let me know your name. Let me know whose website am I on before I'm scrolling in here um, to understand what you're doing. All right, Saeed, so that's Muhammad, that's the tip for you. Let's dive into portfolio number three, Connie B Design. Monetize or magnetize your audience with visuals that sells. Now here on this website, let's chat design services. There's a lot of color going on, right? So Canopy Design cultivates your brand. So look, I like, let's scroll it down. Yeah, hi, I'm Carly. So Carly, look, I love using colors and I love using bold colors, but what's going on here is that you're using colors without giving significant to your color. So I'm not sure if this is um, red because it's a link or because it's important. And so there, there is no purpose here for the use of color. There is no differentiation between what is color to significant what is more important or what is just different or what is a button. So I would limit the use of color and make sure that I use color um, with significant, with some kind of a meaning to it. Again, you can still use lots of colors, but just make sure that there's a system and there's a reason for how you use your colors. Otherwise, it's a little bit confusing and I'm not really sure, again, if this is a link, if this is a button, or you know what what should I even do here? So it's a little bit confusing. All right, let's see. We're good. We're good on time. Exactly two more minutes and two more portfolios. So this one is yaronshemish.com and he's saying full stack web developer and consultant. I develop website with information, policy makers, NGOs, nice projects. All right, so first of all, I'm lacking the name here too, right? I just see full stack web developer. I know the name from the domain, but I can't really see. But what's really bothering me here is that I'm not really sure what what do you want me to do your own? So there's no call to action here. I'm overwhelmed immediately with the projects and then personal initiatives and then about me and then say hello. So I'm not really sure about what's the goal of your website. Do you want me to hire you? Do you want me to contact you? Do you want me to know something specific about you? It just seems like you've put a lot of things about you inside of a website and I'm not really sure about what are you looking to do here. Um, 
So make sure that when you're designing a website, you always have a goal in mind, and we know that by you adding some kind of a call to action. All right, we have less than a minute to go. So last portfolio website from Knut, Knut Studio, boosting digital brands and product through web design. This is a, a, a really cool design. There's a lot of things going on here when I'm scrolling. Now here's what I, where I think this can improve. So now we're seeing the works, right? And we have some kind of a website here and some kind of, you can see the, the works here. But what I think Knut website can be improved is I think they're really using a lot of space here, but really minimizing the, the work. So note here that there is so much space empty space and then color space and the work is so minimized. I actually think it, it feels like they're kind of a little bit hiding the work itself. So I would show the work and focus on the work rather than on our time is up. Dang, I almost made it. Five website, five tips. So Knut website, the, the main tip here is focus on the work versus on showing kind of, you know, how you present the work, show the actual work itself. All right, peeps, I hope you found this valuable. I try to make as much like the most impactful tip for each one of the portfolios. Let me know which one you liked best. And if you want to submit your own portfolios for review, make sure you're following on Instagram because I pump, prompt there to submit your uh, portfolios. And uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed for more portfolio reviews and web design related content, and I will see you on the next video.